All right guys, so today what we're doing is we're exploring a totally new place, at least for me. Oh, I'm standing on a board right now. But we're exploring somewhere that is totally, totally new to me, which is refreshing because you get into the loop of doing the same thing over and over again. So we don't know what we're gonna find today. So far it's been a whole lot of not much, but we've got some boards right here, band structure. Let's see what's under them. Not bad for how like moist it is back here. <laughs> Come on, get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look bad. We have Alex today. Yay! Surprise! <laughs> I mean, this spot in general looks king sneaky as heck. What kind of trees are those on that side of the pond? Good question. Planted of some sort? I would have to imagine. And look at those. Why don't you crawl in there? Oh, dude, look at this cave. Little shaft. Whoa. It goes into the basement of this place. Alex would One be. But two. Wow. We're on the board. On the board for the day. <laughs> Alright, got some little worm snakes. We're just gonna put them back. We see a lot of these guys, but first snakes of the day. Putting these guys back. <laughs> Mouse nest. This site actually looks good. There's a box turtle, I think it's stuck. Come here, check this out. It's like in a... Look at this. Dude, there's two in here. Dude, look. There's two box what? turtles. Three! There's three <laughs> box turtles down in here. Natural box turtle. No <laughs> way. All right guys, so this is unbelievable. I noticed one turtle. And there are three box turtles in this metal Thing. I mean, like, look at this. Here's the first one. Oh, and they don't look fantastic. I mean, okay, we're gonna put one there. Here's another. That one's really pretty. That is a pretty one. Look at that guy. Saving them. All right. They, wanna, they're dehydrated. Here, you wanna take that one real quick? Yeah, we can put them in the mud puddle over there. These are crazy dehydrated. Dude, look at that one. Another male. Do you think the female, if that's a female went in there and the two males went in? But this dude. This looks like three males. Look at that. You can't even make this up. What the when heck? When you lift them up and they feel empty, it means they're dehydrated. Yeah, I mean, like I, like for feeling. work I weigh the turtles every day. Yeah, these are light. We should put them in water. Mm -hmm. But who knows how long they've been trapped in here. If we can move this go. thing. Throw yeah. that. Here, leave it sideways just, yeah. like that. Let's All get right. these guys to the Yeah, wall. we'll put them in a puddle. Man, this All right. Yeah, that red one is awesome. All right, so we're leaving that like that because that was like a box turtle death trap. That's insane. Okay, so look at this. We've got all three turtles right here. Three Two males. eager males. They're they're really pretty. We're gonna wash them off and get them in some water. There's a puddle back that way. Uh, just because, man, like these guys. You know what's who, crazy? Look here, hold this. You don't know how long look they've how been in there. Look how worn down its nails are. From oh, trying that's to get sad. It. Yeah. Like, look at. They're completely could, worn could down. Could be, yeah. And they're, I mean, they're super dehydrated. Wow. Like, this is a big box turtle, but it feels yeah, like... Yeah, yeah. I mean, I weigh them all the time for the research right. I do. And these do feel light, so let's get them some water, I guess. All right, so we're putting the turtles in this puddle here. No one drives back here, at least not recently, so... Look at that male here. Grab that male and let's wash them off, because, I mean... Look at that. Holy cow. Yeah, Holy. The, he's stunning. Look at all the spots on him. I guess we'll just let him do their thing. Even the head on this one is like really bizarre looking. That's unique. But man. All right, so we've given him some water, leaving him in, the, in this muddy area here. Man, look at this guy though. Before that we let him go. That is a gorgeous box. Yeah, that's look a, at the neck. Yeah, it's the spotting that's really unique for me. Like not only the color, but the fact that he's so spotted. 
It's crazy. All right, letting this guy go. Best of luck, buddy. Hopefully you can hydrate and find something to eat before winter sets in. Well, good thing that I was able to spot that in time before those box turtles met their demise in there. You know, we love going to these old abandoned sites and flipping junk uh, because snakes love the junk. Lots of animals like the junk, to be honest, as much of an eyesore as it is. But you can't forget about the fact that stuff like that that people leave around obviously does have an impact on the things we look for and just other animals out here in the woods. By chance, the way that that tire rim or whatever it was was positioned, I mean, it was literally a death trap for box turtles. So glad we were able to sort that out. We're gonna keep looking around for stuff. We are really doing the most for box turtles today. Theme of the video, saving turtles. Check it out. Here's a healthy, let's see, maybe male, maybe female box turtle. Man, it's chilly today. It's a male. Huh, <laughs> just closed in there. Not really gonna get a better look at it, but this turtle is much heavier for its size than the ones we saved. And, uh, I'm sorry, but you cannot just chill on the road like that. All right, so far it has been a slow day. We're close to giving up, but we're checking some last couple roadside spots on the way home. And we're just kind of seeing what's around. There's some tin here. I don't know if any's off the building. Dude, what is with the box turtles today? That's funny. That was a young one. All right, guys. Well, today was pretty brutal. I think we saw just those two worm snakes. Luckily, got to save those box turtles. That was probably the highlight of the day. But when you're exploring new areas like that, it's always a toss-up. Weather wasn't great today. It was pretty cold. So, you know, is what it is. I'm going to pick this up another day. All right, folks. It has been pouring rain all day, the roads are super wet, and this is a really good time of the year to start seeing salamanders on the road again. So we're gonna cruise around, walk some roads, maybe even walk some streams and see what's out and about. All right, you guys are not gonna believe what I think I see in the road right here. If this thing is alive, I'm gonna be shocked. Dude, what? Oh, it's dead, okay. Well, that makes sense, I guess. But what the hell? Okay, so I thought this thing was alive. I mean, it might like, dude, this thing moved tonight. That is insane. You see, it's still alive. I mean, it hasn't been dark very long. Unfortunately, I mean, it looks like it got hit on the head or the neck. Uh, so this is a rat snake. Man, it's like otherwise completely intact and it's still moving a little bit, but I think it's, it's pretty much dead. Kind of hard to say if it's gonna make it or not. I mean, I would err on the side of it almost definitely not making it, but it does have quite a bit of life in it. But yeah, this is bizarre. It's late October right now, and this guy was out moving, late season mover, and I mean, you can see, got clipped, unfortunately. Gonna move this thing off the road and keep cruising around. Hopefully we get to see some salamanders though, but weird first thing to cruise for the night, uh, super strange. All right, so this is a little bit more like what I was expecting to see tonight. Here's a four-toed salamander. They're pretty common at this site here. You can see what's really cool about them is Oh, he's gonna, oh, that's a good view of his belly. Yeah, they've got these beautiful white bellies with black dots on them. I'm gonna move them off the road. Come on. There we go. All right, moving you onto the shoulder. You turn around and go the other way. Got another species here. That's a nice two-line salamander. Really bright yellow one. Even got some flecking and stuff between the uh, two stripes on its back. All right, we're gonna encourage this guy off the road. Whoop, there he goes. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. You're almost there. You're gonna make it. All right, I think he's got it from here. 
driving very, very, very slow, using my flashlight to point at anything that looks salamander-like. It's a lot that looks salamandery here. I'm probably gonna have to get out and walk soon. Saw somebody hauling across the road. Oh, sick. That's awesome. Love seeing these guys. It's a slimy salamander. Such a cool species, honestly. Pretty common, but we always enjoy seeing them. Watch, he shouldn't have any issue getting off the road. Check this out. And see ya. <laughs> Got another salamander here. And, oh, it's a new species. A little dusky salamander. This is a super bright one. It almost looks like a two line. I'm gonna give him a little poke off the road. This is another one that should just shoot right off the road. Boop. Oh, that's more like it. <laughs> All right, that is a much bigger slimy salamander. It also looks like there's another salamander up there, so I'm gonna check this guy out first. You guys can see that's a pretty sizable slimy. Pretty cool. Whoa, oh, he's taking off. I wanna get a good look at him before he goes. Yeah, these guys are absolute spazzes. I love the white spots on them though. Just awesome to see. Really vibrant, well, I wouldn't say vibrant, but just really uh, neatly patterned salamanders. My guy clearly needs a little bit of guidance. I'll give him a poke in this direction. Okay, that's not where you're going, buddy. And then look, he's got a friend over here. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> so there's the, uh, the slimy. And then right here, we have a valley and ridge salamander with a broken tail. I don't know if I've shown these guys on the channel yet, but so they're plethodons, I guess just like the slimy salamander is, but uh, they look a lot like redback salamanders, except they're always this kind of cool graphite color. They can be really flecked, and they're usually really, really long and skinny, like disproportionately. I mean, you guys can see this next to my finger. They can be like twice the length of this, but we'll see if, whoa. Yeah, he's going nuts. All right, we're gonna get this guy off the road too. Man, dude, you're not helping yourself. Ta-da. <laughs> All right, guys, well, I have some good news, I think. So this is that rat snake that I cruised at the beginning of the cruising session. And as you can see, miraculously, it looks like it's doing okay. It's freezing outside, I mean, freezing for a rat snake. It's like 50 degrees. So I've been keeping him in my car in this Tupperware to let him warm up a little bit. And it seems like he just kind of got just clipped on the head. And when I found him, his mouth was kind of ajar, but he shut his mouth and it started showing signs of life. So I figured I'd hang on to him. And if he died, then uh, keep him and preserve him as an education specimen for students to look at. But, uh, He's been showing some signs of life. As you can see, he's he's looking all right right now, which is pretty miraculous, I mean, all things considered. So what I'm gonna do is if he makes it, I'm gonna hang on to him overnight, and tomorrow it's supposed to be nice and sunny. I'm gonna find a spot right where near where he was crossing the road in the sun and give him a spot to bask so he's got a fighting chance because if I let him go at the end of the night tonight, 50 degrees, freezing cold, uh, it's possible that he's okay, but I think he'll have a better chance in the morning. All right, I decided to get out on foot for a little bit. Just gonna walk the road slowly and see what's happening. Got a little four-toed salamander moving along here. Look at him, moving in slow motion. This road I'm on right now is actually gated off, so I'm just gonna leave this guy right where he is. All right, guys, look at this. This is super cool. It looks like these guys are potentially gonna mate or something like that. Not really sure what's going on. I would imagine mating or something like that. That's super funny. Unfortunately, these guys can't really do this in the road. All right, I think I know what I have out here. Hey, check that out. Spotted salamander. Definitely our largest salamander of the night. Honestly, that slimy was pretty close in size to this guy, but you can see, I mean, that's a hefty salamander. They do get a lot bigger than this, but seeing them out of season like this is always cool. These guys are typically all over the roads, moving in mass migrations in the really, really early spring or late winter. 
pick them up and help them across the road. You can see, just big, pretty awesome salamanders, even though they're relatively common. All right. Letting this buddy off the road where he's gonna go probably find a nice log. All right, so the rain is really petered out and the road is starting to get dry. That's usually when you stop seeing things on the road. So I think that big spotted salamander is probably gonna be the last thing for the night, but we've still got that rat snake. I'm gonna hold on to him overnight and uh, I'm gonna let you guys know if he makes it in the morning. All right, guys, well, moment of truth. Got a bag right here from last night. I'll show you guys what's in it. You guys might be able to see some movement right there. And I'm sure you've guessed at this point that our rat snake friend from last night is alive. So this guy's condition improved significantly since when I first found him last night when he was hit by a car, cold and wet on the road. You can actually see on the bottom of the chin he has some scarring or some bruising that showed up overnight. It wasn't visible at first so I was starting to question whether he even got hit in the first place but uh, it seems like a car just barely nicked him and it was enough with the cold and wet conditions to kind of reduce his chances of getting off the road. I think he probably would have died if I didn't bring him in last night. So anyway, he crossed right through these bushes over there on the road and right here there's kind of a big lay down. So I'm going to put him in that and hopefully he finds somewhere to overwinter because it's getting cold fast and the weather is not as nice and sunny as it was forecasted to be today so let's get this guy back all right so lots of stumps and things here hopefully he's got some underground access and uh best of luck little guy try to stay out of the road and find somewhere nice and warm all right guys what a funny and positive end to an already kind of positive episode i mean in this episode we already saved box turtles we I guess saved a rat snake, so pretty strange, but we'll take it. Hopefully that's some good karma. If you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.